Well, we got lots of things done around here this spring. Like this chicken coop we built here for my son who's in FFA showing chickens. But the biggest thing we got done, got this greenhouse built. able to get as much footage as I would have liked but I will take you through a couple of the steps and some of the procedures we went through to get this greenhouse and pond together I'll leave a link at the end of this video for some of the earlier steps at this point we were mainly trying to get the pond cleaned out and trying to get a few of the other things done that we could get done before putting the plastic on stuff that would be difficult afterwards like these planter boxes here and moving the dirt in that goes into them as well as doing some fixing on the filter and everything getting it ready to run this thing had tons of leaves in it <clears throat> from winter time excuse me and we had to trim a few limbs off of that pecan tree to the right there that way we didn't have any holes or anything get punched in it as soon as we got it done the supports there in the middle of the greenhouse were a bit tricky but I figured it out using a couple cinder blocks and some old stumps we had. Um, everything on the wood frame up top is made out of doubled up 2x4 and 2x6. Uh, we've got some shrubs planted out there as well, some blueberries and raspberries, kiwis. Next up, I got the planter boxes done, got all the dirt moved in, it's about two foot wide, probably about six, eight inches tall, I believe I used two by eight if I remember right to make the planter boxes. Good enough to grow some, a few different types of plants and uh, vegetables. Next up was finishing cleaning out the interior of the pond, and some pretty dirty nasty water and we had to work on getting the two ends the ends done where the doors are those were fairly simple just used a handful of two by fours and a bunch of screws got that put together the corner boards placed into the center blocks there at the bottom next up I had to finish draining that pond which I was working on there that took quite a bit to get that sucker clean. Apparently I forgot to hit the record button whenever we were putting the plastic on. But that's fairly simple and there's plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to attach the plastic. But next up was these little uh, planter boxes. Had to get them ready to plant. Was digging a little watering trench. Easy access for the roots to the water. And uh loosen up the dirt there on top to actually plant the plants in from there all there was really left to do is stack some more boulders in there on each side like on the right side and finish cleaning out the pond which it was almost there we just had a little more to do and we needed to do the doors and put the plastic on the ends all of the fish that I added to this pond are cichlids and such that I took out of the house all of them came out of the house from their tanks in there and what I did was add them you know a few at a time as I was draining their tanks into the pond that way they started with their own water pretty much I did get footage of adding the fish but I didn't aim the camera very well and I was out of frame whenever I was showing the fish and actually putting them in so I didn't get to use any of that footage Over 
over the next few days as I was filling the pond I went ahead and did the lights as well as made a trellis to the left there for my tiger melon plants had to get it mostly full before I tried to start trying to turn the filter on and stuff at that point I believe I had it pretty much about done there's two 3200 gallon per hour pumps running the waterfall somewhere around 6,000 gallons an hour total with head height and everything after a hot day of getting the plastic on the front and back and the filter running me and Micah decided to take us a little dip and anytime you put him in front of a camera something funny is bound to happen Next we got our vegetables planted. We have butter crunch lettuce, some tiger melons there where the trellises are, and uh, strawberries. And we also have some spinach on this side, strawberries again, and some more spinach there at the end. As you can see, we're running into a little bit of a green water problem just after about a week of running. But that's for next video, so enjoy this fish footage, and y'all have a good one. Thank mm -hmm. you.